I have a pretty short video for you today. We're going to discuss two important keywords when it comes to loops. Break and continue. Break is used to break out of a loop. Continue skips the current iteration of a loop. Think of the break keyword as the stop button on a remote. Continue would be similar to skip. With break, we're stopping. With continuing, we're skipping. Let me give you a demonstration. Let's create a for loop that will iterate 10 times, let's say. Int i equals 0 will continue as long as i is less than 10. Then increment i by 1. During each iteration, I'll just print i. Then add a space. Here's what we got. We have the numbers 0 through 9. So let's say when we reach 5, I would like to break out of the loop. We're going to stop it. Well, I could add an if statement. Let's say if i is equal to 5, then we will use the break keyword and break out of the loop entirely. Here's what happens. Once we hit 5, we break out of the loop. Previously, we continued all the way until 9. Now with the continue keyword, we don't break out of the loop. We just skip the current iteration, like a skip button on a remote. This time, let's use continue rather than break. And we'll see the differences between the two. Now since we're using continue, the number 5 is missing. We skipped that specific cycle of the loop and went back to the beginning. That's why 5 is missing between 4 and 6. But we still continue to the end. When working with loops, if you ever need to break out, you can use the break keyword. To skip the current iteration, you can use continue. And well everybody, that is both the break and continue keywords in Java.